What's up guys and welcome to weekly update number three. Now I'm going to start off this video with a very short quick unboxing of a product that I got for the channel that's hopefully going to step up my audio quality quite a bit. Now you may have noticed in some of my videos, uh, specifically the ones where I'm driving either the STI or the WRX, but especially the STI, uh, there is a lot of crackling in my audio and that is due to the microphone that I have been using. The microphone I'm using right now is a Polson. It's like a $20 microphone. Um, I will be doing a full review on it because I don't think it's a terrible microphone, but it does have some issues, especially if you're driving in a car. So first of all, I got this by the recommendation of Mr. Evan Shanks. Uh, this is the ETM008. Um, it's a lavalier microphone designed and produced by Edutige and I will probably do a review in the future when I actually have some more time with this product. But I just wanted to kind of unbox this and introduce it to the channel so that you know that I'm on a different microphone. And I will be doing audio comparisons between the two microphones in a, it, probably the next video or so. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna unbox this. And it's really nice packaging. Uh, this is actually plastic and it comes in this nice little pouch, as you can see. Edutage. When you open this up, you have your lavalier microphone. Now right off the bat, I notice first of all that this cable is much more thick than the microphone that I have right now, and it seems to be good quality. I like that it's bundled nicely, you have a little Velcro strap here, as well as a very robust clip and a nice little windscreen. Now if you don't know anything about Edutage, uh, they make microphones for DSLRs and GoPros, as well as iPhones. So this actually disconnects, and you can plug this right into your GoPro if you have the adapter that's necessary for it. Or you can plug it into any 3.5 millimeter extension. Now I also purchased a nice windscreen for this. Uh, this is actually going to help on windy days so that you don't get the wind or anything like that blowing into the microphone. It just basically slips on. Has a nice little elastic band in here so it stays in place. So I will use this in the future, I'm sure. It was only 20 bucks. And this microphone was fairly inexpensive as well. So I'm actually gonna switch over to this microphone now and hopefully you'll be able to hear an improvement in sound quality, especially when I'm driving. So now I have my new microphone plugged in and I'm about to take a short drive. Now I apologize in advance for any technical difficulties I may have. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used this microphone. So sometimes things crop up and you just have to learn to work around them. Okay, so a couple things. I have been in touch with Innovative Tuning, who is gonna do the Pro Tune on this car. Um, we are just working on nailing down a final date uh, for the Pro Tune. Uh, something that works out for his schedule and my schedule. Uh, as you know, or may not know, um, Innovative Tuning is actually up in Buffalo, New York, and it's about a three hour drive from where I live. So it's really not bad at all, but um, it's still something that I kind of have to work out with my schedule. So hopefully I'll be getting pro, pro tuned uh, very shortly in the next month or two, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. That is really bright. Also, I am taking car to more performance, uh, actually next week, to have them look over a few issues. Now, the issues I'm having are not related to any of the work that they did. In fact, the issue was pre-existing. Uh, the issue that I have is my horn does not work at all. Um, I don't know why, but it blows a fuse basically every time I try to blow the horn. I replace the fuse and it will blow it again. Um, for whatever reason, I believe there's probably a short circuit somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where that is. Um, it may be in the clock area because I believe the circuit that runs uh, your clock ties into these gauges that I have up here. Um, that all runs on the same circuit, basically. Um, so I need to get that looked at. A couple of the symptoms are my horn doesn't work, uh, my four-way hazards don't work, my turn signals do, do work, um, but also the car has the lockout feature that prevents you from locking your keys in the car. That doesn't work. And my lights don't flash when I lock or unlock my car, which kind of sucks. So 
more performance is going to look into that and hopefully get to the bottom of it uh, the cool thing about more performance is they do more than just performance work uh, some shops are strictly performance parts more actually does a lot of different things uh, they'll do inspections on your car they do emissions a bunch of different stuff like that so I'm really thankful that they're actually going to take a look at the car and see if they could figure out why it's doing what it's doing and if they could fix it so that's going to be happening next week so I probably will be in the WRX for next week's update if I have enough material to do an update. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. So this guy in front of me has a vanity plate and I'm not one to talk because I have a vanity plate myself. As you know, my plate says Aurora, which is the name of my car. But I'm constantly behind people and I cannot figure out what the heck their plate is trying to say. Uh, this one says WRK2 CRZ. Uh, work too crazy? Work too sirs? I, I don't get it. Maybe I'm an idiot and like I don't get it. But in PA, a lot of people have vanity plates. And a lot of the ones that I see just don't make any sense at all. So... If you're from an area that has a lot of vanity plates, uh, put in the comments below what plates you typically see, if they make sense or if they don't make sense, because I'm kind of curious. I think it's mostly a Pennsylvania thing that uh, a lot of people have vanity plates and they just don't make any sense at all. Um, but hey, it's, you know, it's your car, so do what you want with it. So what kind of sucks about the weather changing is now that it's getting closer to winter, obviously the days are shorter, uh, but that means I have even less time to shoot before it gets dark out. So actually right now I'm filming between classes. I have a class starting in like four hours, um, but I can't show you guys anything. I really wanted to do a mud flap install video today, and I also have a decal install video for you. Uh, just going over how to properly prep the surface before applying decals uh, to both paint and glass. I'm hopefully going to be able to get those videos out tomorrow, which is going to be Thursday. Uh, hopefully I can film those after class tomorrow. Um, I don't think I have anything else going on, but I just want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, if I'm not putting out videos, um, it's not that I don't want to or that I'm losing interest in YouTube. Um, it actually has a lot more to do with the fact that I just don't have I just don't have the time to film because it's dark out. So I just got back on campus and I had about five different guys staring at this car. Uh, this car gets nothing but stares, nothing but attention. Sometimes it's good attention, but sometimes it's bad attention. And I always have people looking at me, staring. I don't know if it's a good stare or a bad stare. It's usually a puzzled face or sometimes people look uh, pissed off. Uh, maybe they're just suffering from RBF. I don't know but it's always kind of weird just having a car that gets that much attention and speaking of vanity plates uh, there's a car parked behind me that says just for dj now that makes sense to me okay it's probably a gift for dj you know i don't know maybe they did well maybe they graduated and they wanted to give her a car or him a car whatever and there's a plate it says just for dj i get that okay that makes sense to me you know if i see a plate that says you know so and so's ride or whatever like i get that that makes sense but Come on, man. If you're doing a vanity plate, don't just put in a random jumble of numbers and letters. I just don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. But to each his own, I mean, do what you want. You do you, boo-boo. You do you, okay? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. I also got a new dash cam in the mail, so I do have an unboxing video coming for you guys. And uh, with that being said, you know what time it is. So I just got home from the store where I got plenty of washer line. Um, this is basically the same as vacuum line. Um, so let me show you what my car is doing and I'm gonna replace it. Uh, it actually is just falling apart completely. Just disintegrating. It's all gummy. 
the hoverboard used in Back to the Future 2, as you can clearly see. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work, but it's still an awesome prop. Uh, it is plastic, and who knows, I might even take this to school and show it off because